today I'm going to show you something super simple here in Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to do a clipping mask and how to lock a layer and since both of these have pretty similar effects on your drawing I'm going to include them both in the same video and I'm going to try to tell you which shortcuts I'm using because I tend to use a lot of shortcuts and I'm going to start by using command N for new file. No? Oh, okay, there we go. And I usually do 1000 by 1300 resolution. Oh, this is 300, okay. And make sure you have RGB color because otherwise it's not gonna work the same. You can try out the other ones and play around with them but I recommend RGB color because that means you can use all of the colors that you intend. And you can choose to have a transparent background or a white background or the background color which means this color back here which you can change before you do this by simply clicking it. I don't think you can, no you can't now because this window is open but Usually you can just click and change it. And I'm going to name this file test because this is just this is just a simple test so that I can show you pretty simply how I do stuff in Photoshop. And I'm going to make a lot of videos, but in this one I'm going to focus on clipping masks and how to lock a layer and what I use that for. Okay, so we're gonna press we're gonna press OK up here and the file's gonna it's gonna look like this and I'm gonna use the brush and I'm gonna change the settings first of all I just installed this tablet so I'm gonna see oh, this is too small and when I go back I press command alt and Z and I use the right click to show this. Now uh, you can tell I can just click it whatever and it'll not not here. But here I can. Okay. On the canvas I can. And I'm going to drag it up and here you can tell how big it is. And if you don't like it when you can see the little circle, you can just press the caps lock button and it disappears. You can tell because even if I have one this big, it'll disappear. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this. This one is great. And whenever I go back, I just press the command, Alt, and Z. Um, I'm going to go down here. Uh, this makes a new layer. And you can think of layers as paper, where a layer is on top, you won't be able to see the other one. So if I draw something on my first layer, let's say I make a smiley face, then I make a new layer on top. This is gonna go on top of it, where as if I'm selecting the color that already there, you saw I clicked here. There are more of them here, but I'm gonna use the eyedrop tool and I press B for brush and I'm going down here. You can't go on top of the green. This is really basic, but I'm going really basic today. So that's that's something you should know when you use Photoshop or any other program that has layers. And this is something basic to know, uh, especially when you're gonna lock layers. And I'm going to make, no, I'm actually, I'm going to make a heart, because why not? And I'm going to press E for eraser, and just fix up the edges. Okay, and uh, if you are not happy with the color, you can press Command U, and you get the hue and saturation, and you can change. Actually, I want this kind of bluish, where was it? Here, yeah, that's nice, and press OK. And I'm going back to the eyedropper tool and I'm gonna use this color. Oh, oh I fucked up. Okay, okay, now here we go. Okay, so to lock it, you simply press the lock tool right here, this one. Uh, because now, if you want to shade this, so you wanna shade it with a little darker, 
see I'm going darker here and adding a little bit of color there. And now I can only draw within the area that I've already drawn. I can't draw it here, doesn't, can't see it, but if I want to shade this heart, there is no problem. And I'm going back just. And if you want to make a clipping mask, it does a similar effect. We're going down here again, like that, and then we're going to press uh, right click and put create clipping mask. Now this will create a similar effect as a locked layer, uh, except this is on a new layer which makes the paper effect. So you can tell this is pretty much looks the same, but you can play around with different layers. Um, maybe I want this to have some kind of sparkle. Maybe I want a little white dot, but I, then I can't can't go over the, the clipping mask. And you can actually, you can make um, a lot of clipping mask, like I can go layer and create clipping mask again. Now, if you press here immediately and you make a new layer, they're gonna be clipping masks anyways. Um, I, I like to use these when I make patterns, like say, I like to, we're gonna delete this one. Okay, so I like to shade, so I'm just gonna use white for this, and then I'm just gonna use a dark blue, like I did earlier, just to shade a heart, just a little bit. And maybe I want it striped. Okay, actually, I would do the light part. I would do it like this, probably, like that, okay. And then I want this to have stripes. Then maybe I would use this purple color and I would go on top, making a little stripes. And I would change the layer settings to probably multiply because this makes, this makes stripes. Okay, and when you use multiply, you don't really know exactly which color. Maybe you, you start to learn after a while by using this, but you don't know exactly which colors are gonna be there. And then the command U setting is really great because here uh, you can have the preview button here, which makes you able to see whatever you're doing with the colors. And you can change it to really any color you want and you can tell directly which color it's gonna look like. But I like it the way it is. I'm gonna press cancel. Okay, and now, if you don't want to have harsh lines, because these are pretty, this is kind of like a really harsh cell, uh, cell shading, and maybe you don't want that, maybe you want it more smooth. And then you go to Filter, Blur. I like to use Gaussian Blur, you can try out whatever blurs you think seem cool. Um, I tend to use Gaussian Blur and Motion Blur. Uh, but now I'm going to go ahead and use Gaussian Blur. And this looks pretty cool. Because since this layer is locked, the colors are just gonna go into each other. And you can change how much. Maybe you just want this a little bit, or maybe you want it all crazy a lot. But I like it somewhere like here for this one. And here you can remove the preview, so you can see what it looks like before and after, and then you just press OK. Um, because if you unlock this layer, you can go in and just do whatever you want again. Another thing that is cool when you have uh, this lock layer is that if you're drawing, I'm just gonna make a super quick... Oh, no, <laughs> no, I made a clipping mask, okay. So I'm just gonna make a super quick... This is, Say this is my line art for a really nice picture that I'm making. Yeah, this should be a really nice picture, especially considering this line art. Okay, and then we're gonna color in this super quickly, just just to give you an idea of how I use this for line arts. And when I color the line art, okay, so maybe this is the color I'm using for the dog, and maybe I want a little bit of shadow. I'm gonna make another video about colors as well, but this one I'm just going random with it, okay. Then I would go up here and I would lock the layer 
I would choose the darkest color of the shadows and I would darken it a little bit and I would go over it to make the lines seem less harsh. And say this dog had like this blue torso or whatever this is. Then, and uh, maybe a little bit of shading, shade, shading, <laughs> then I would probably, if it's a big picture, I would make a clipping mask. And I would again choose the darkest color and I would go over it to make the lines seem less harsh. And this is, uh, to me, it's a great technique. <laughs> also, uh, oh yeah, I can delete that one as well. Okay, you can tell that I have this little navigator down here and it's because you can zoom in and then you can just go wherever you want with it. And that's really handy for me. It doesn't have anything to do with anything, but you can find it in a window and navigator. You can choose whatever you want and stuff, but this this is what I prefer. Oh yeah, and you can go in here and you get the lines that you can tell I drew here. And yeah, this is how you do with lock layers. And also if you want to blur these lines, since we already use the Gaussian Blur as a recent here, up here in Filter, you can tell here. This is the most recent one that you used. And you can tell Command and this key. I don't know what it is in other languages because I'm a Swede and we have this letter. But if you're not, you better check up here which one you have. But if you're a Swede, you just press the Command and the O. So you go like that. Now this looks really weird, I don't know why you would do this, but I'm just showing you that you can do this, basically. And yeah, this is what I wanted to show you in this video, and I'll upload more about other stuff some other time. I really hope you learned something and that you liked it. <laughs> See you in my next video. Bye!